Hello everyone. I hope you are doing good. Today we have a topic known as representation of a vector. And by the end of this video, we will be able to understand that how exactly you can draw a vector with proper scale and proper accuracy with proper direction. So, if I want to understand this concept clearly, uh, I need to show you an example and that example is I will be showing you how can you draw a vector of 15 Newton with 15 degrees with respect to x-axis. So, you clearly know that 15 Newton are not in your ruler. Your ruler is calibrated in terms of centimeters. So, but first of all, what do I have to do? I have to make or I have to draw a sensible scale which can convert Newtons into centimeters. And if I talk about a scale which can convert Newtons into centimeters, during you are deciding that which scale you can use, you need to keep some things in your mind. And that is, your scale should always start from unity. Which means, your scale should start that if one centimeter equals to whatever measurement you want to have. A scale should not be too large or too small. For example, if I'm taking a too large scale, means if one centimeter equals to 15 Newton, my resultant vector or my final vector will be drawn of very small length. And if I consider a scale too small, means with one centimeter equals to one Newton, I'll be having a vector which is very large, which can outrun the size of your copy. So you need to uh, have a proper scale, or you need to have a sensible scale. And that is, in my case, I'm having a scale as if one centimeter equals to, let's say, three Newton. So X centimeter are 15 Newton. So if I want to find out the value of X centimeter, what do I have to do? I will just multiply, cross multiply it to find out the value of x. And as you can see, I got the value of 5 centimeters, which means in my case, 15 newtons are represented by 5 centimeters. Now, here comes the direction part 15 degrees with respect to x axis. So, in order to measure 15 degrees, I'll be using a protector. Uh, it is always suggested to use a um, clear or transparent protector so that you can have the values as accurately as possible. So, what I'm doing right now, I will be putting a mark at the cross of this protector so that if the cross, uh, protector is being displaced, I can place the protector at this position again. And in order to measure 15 degrees, these are 0 degrees, 10 degrees, and this is 15 degrees. I'll put one mark more at 15 degrees so that if I place a ruler to draw a vector, I can exactly place the ruler in between these two points. Now, what do I have to do? I have to place a ruler. Let me adjust this ruler in the direction of 15 degrees with respect to x axis. So here our ruler is being set at an angle of 15 degrees with respect to x axis. Now according to my scale, what do I have to do? I will have to draw my vector and since my vector is of 5 cm, I'll draw 5 cm like 1, 2, 3, 4, and here we go, 5 cm. Since it's a vector quantity, it's a vector which always has a specific direction, you need to draw an arrowhead. And you need to represent your vector by labeling it as 15 newtons. Since this vector is making 15 degrees with respect to x axis, you have to mention x axis as well and you will be showing the direction as 15 degrees so this is the final product which is shown with dark blue color 15 newtons at 15 degrees with respect to x axis 
so i hope you have understood this example as clearly as possible so now what do we have to do let to make this concept more concrete more clear let us have one more example and that is now we are going to draw a vector of Let's say 50 meters per second or ms minus 1 at east. Again, we need to have a proper scale or we need to have a sensible scale. And in my case, what can I have? I'll start my scale from the unity that is this 1 centimeter equals to, let's consider a sensible scale as 5 ms minus 1. So x represents 50 ms minus 1. We'll just have to cross, have to cross multiply then to find out the value of x. And we will get the value of x as 10 centimeters. Which means in my case, 10 centimeters represent 50 ms minus 1 or 50 meter per second. So since this time the direction is towards east, if you don't know, let me show you how can you exactly identify the direction of east in terms of north, east, west, south. Let me draw the direction quadrants. Sorry. And let me draw the arrowhead. The left one is west, right one is east. Top one is north, downward is south. So I'll be drawing a vector of 10 centimeters towards right and that means towards east. Let me bring my ruler. And let me adjust this ruler in the direction of east. Since my vector is of 10 centimeters, so, I'll be starting my measurement from 0 cm mark and ending at 10 cm mark. And here we go. I'll put arrow head to show it's a vector and I'll label this vector as 50 ms minus 1 towards east. So, I hope with these two examples you are clear with the concept that how can you exactly draw a vector uh, by having a sensible scale the scale should always start with unity that is one centimeter the scale should not be too large too small draw your vector according to your scale in a given direction so now i hope everything is clear you have understood the concept clearly thank you very much So I hope now you have understood the concept clearly. If you do, do not forget to like the video and subscribe the channel and push the bell icon so that you don't have to miss any future video. May God bless you. Thank you.